I'm just All logging right, out hey right guys. now. I'm just uh, taxiing off the runway into some ramp area. Yes, yeah, somebody at the end of the runway, on the 29s. Oh, Shouldn't wait. Be. Oh, there's somebody. I see how far. No, I'm at a gate. Up, I should be at a gate. Uh, somebody's on the runway at the far end. Yeah. Uh, is my scenery b broken then? Because I, it, uh... I see somebody in a, in a airbus, a blue airbus. Yeah, that's Randy right is. there. No, I'm in a 737. <clears throat> oh, I see, I see... I'm at gate 29. I, I see Nick, I see Nick, I'm I see Randy. No, I'm at gate... Oh, shit! Uh, I... Okay, hang on, let me reposition. Are you on the runway? Yes, hold on a minute. Reposition on to yeah. 11. Okay, you can take off first. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing that, but okay, uh... Well, I'm not even ready to go! Then one of us will have to text you three of take off? I'm not ready to go! Oh, I thought you said you were. Okay. When you're ready. All right, everybody make sure smart cars is started. Yep. yep. So where should I, uh, what, what should I do? I don't know why this thing like didn't- Just re like, reposition to runway 11. Can you do that? I can, but uh, I don't want to get in trouble by that sim. There's, no, there's you're going to be fine. There's right nobody on. Yeah. There, there's no controllers on. And there's no airplanes in the area here either, so you're good. Nobody but, will complain. Uh, okay, all right. Just- just do it. Trust, trust us. Uh, we've done okay. this. We've done it before. All right, all right. Done this. We've done this a lot. <laughs> yeah. Randy, set your flight plan for VATS. Should I? No. No, no, no. I'm not yeah, even going to even announce right my intentions. I'll just, I don't know. No, no we're, none of us are. We're no. just going to go. Uh, sure. I, I just, okay. So I'm just used to going by a different set of rules. That's all. This is the bad boys. You've crossed to the bad side of the tracks. Okay, this, bone. <laughs> when there's no controllers on, we kind of we kind of do it the fun way. Your reputation was pretty much tough when you got associated with Nick. That's all I'm saying. Hold up, what? <laughs> if I get in trouble, it's going to be your fault, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just leave it on trouble. Nick. They'll say, "Oh yeah, we do Nick, that." Guy. Nick will take the, <laughs> Nick will take the bullet for you. Hey, I have no problem bitching somebody up. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, we know that. He said, Nick told me to. Oh yeah, we know that guy. <laughs> Hey, oh my God! I'm gonna hear. A bit of a temper. Oh, there you I'm are. I'm gonna hear. I'm gonna hear flack from this. You go. Oh my God! No, you're not. No, you're not. No, from no. my blind friends. If they, well, they'll find out. They'll probably. They will no. find out because if I put the recording up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, well, this is funny then. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, especially because they get to see me panic. I don't think they've seen me do that in a, well ever. Well, ask them if they've flown in a group flight of more than four airplanes before. Yes, they have. <clears throat> Actually, so, ask them if they flown with the bad boys of that. They have not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I see Sarah on 11 down there. I, yeah. If you're ready, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna I'm not. Okay, I am not. Like Anson, Anson can go in front of you and go. Go ahead, Anson. Go on, go on, go on. And I think Ooh, I'm... I found peanut butter pretzels. Hell yeah. Was this in the cushion of the chair? <laughs> no, it was like next to my next to my uh, desk here. I forgot it was even here. Okay, Star Wars. Yes, I am Star Wars. That's the theme of my. Cl I have I have all the trimmings for start to decorate my classroom in Star Wars. Oh God. Pre-flight checklist. Getting back into burning turns again. Not Randy, you're up. Tested. Navigation, transfer, and display switches. Taxiing up. Normal and auto. All right, Window here we go. On pressurization mode selector. Auto this flight instruments. On, Heading set. Ready. Altitude set. <laughs> Pocket brake. Set fuel control switches. Speaking Cut off. Checklist engines. complete. Here we go. Rolling. Okay, I'm running my pre-flight checklist now. Okay. Well, Nick, are you behind me? Yeah. Okay, why don't you go ahead and go around me and go behind Anson, and I'll, I'll bring up the rear. I all guess right. I'll be before you. Hold, I don't know yet. <laughs> That's all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for you to go, and then I'm going to come behind you, and that way we all have you trapped. Uh, okay, that's, that's fine. That's fine. I'm up. I'm not a newbie at this, but yeah, I kind of feel like one today. I don't know. No, no, you're fine. You're doing good. Like I said, I follow a different set of rules, and remember, I'm studying, but I would not let you guys get away with this. You know this, if I were, like, controlling. <laughs> who, who said any of this ever happened? Oh, what happened exactly? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what happened? 
None of this happened. Ah, uh, you're right. None of this happened. What happened? Uh, hold <laughs> power. Here we go. Happened. There were some rogue bats and pilots, once upon a time, <laughs> who flew a group flight and disregarded all the rules. Oh, wow. Hmm. <laughs> that's that's a fairy Sounds tale. Sounds like a normal day. That's a fairy tale. Yeah, that's a fairy tale. Yeah. I wish Jesse were here to hear this. <laughs> oh, wait. You can hear the recording. I just hope someone doesn't decide to clip my panicking out. Oh, yeah. That'll be classic, man. No, Let's just see. Take, just Parking breathe. Set. Just breathe. <laughs> yeah, because you know that I've. <laughs> well, you've seen me on Vatsim, I think. You've heard. You guys have heard me on Vatsim, yeah. so yeah, I'm a little bit different. <laughs> just, just breathe. It's, it's easy. Just relax. Uh -huh. this, is, this is this is where we get to let our hair down. I have very little hair to let down. Remember? <laughs> well, I'm in trouble. I have you've seen me. I have very little <laughs> hair to let down. Anson has no hair. I'm, 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 I'm in that boat well, too, almost. Well, that's very good, Anson. That's very good. You have no hair. That's very good. <laughs> yeah. He's Let's got see. Shine. AP Anthony, was you on. Turn right? Choice. Let's see. AP Anthony, was on. Did, did you turn right? um, what am I supposed to do from here? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. How about wasting gas? Well, you know, when you have it, you use it. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. The model sets never loaded, so I'm just seeing everybody in an acne. Oh, really? That's other. weird. Um, yeah, I, can you have I it scanned for models, I think? It's under... Where is it? Yeah, but I'd have, I'd have to install those when you're not in the sim, though. So. Oh, no, I think AI, whatever... Uh, that that went a long time ago, so we don't have any models. It'll just take whatever it gets from the sim, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, that I went like... I still had... Because I no. tried, to tried to install... No, that went last year. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah, that because the company's basically got into like licensing issues and everything, and they said no, take it away. So, yeah. Oh uh, well, we used to cheat and use the Iveo model set. Remember that? Yeah. I still have the FLAI and um. That's the one that went. FLAI mm -hmm. and SL, whatever. I have those it two was. sets. Yeah. I'm gonna save it on my on my storage drive. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. All right, 10,400. No, oh, let me hide OBS. Let's see, that 10,000 only took about three minutes. Oh, oh let me hide some toolkit. I don't need it anymore. And we're off out of Taiwan. Taiwan. Nice. Had some nice scenery over here, and everything was smooth. Let me see, do I have any fuel in the middle tank? No, I don't. So, I don't need to turn off. <clears throat> I don't think I need to see more. Okay, let's grab my wind data. Oh, let's grab my wind data. That's not you just uh, flying that, flying that uh, out. You push a button. All right, grabbing wind data now. They gave me a cruise of flight level 330. Fun. Give me 400. No, 330. No, I said it gave me. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. I'm going up to 36. Oh, come on. There we go. Meanwhile, someone bats some, him, some, um, controls are scrambling to see who can get to, get to us first. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> the beepers are going off. Beep, 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 beep. Oh no, that'll be a disaster. No, we all just log off. <laughs> right? What the hell? Not our first time, and sure it won't be our last. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I'm assuming I got my cruise wins. Oh well. Yeah, you won't have to worry about them. They're not real strong. Actually, I forgot to load Active Sky, so yeah, oops. Eighteen thousand feet. somebody else on the airfield with us. Oh, you do? Yeah. It's a spy from that city. <laughs> Vivek Mahaber. Ma he Mahabir. Mahabir. Uh, yeah, That's he's... what I said. I didn't know Yeah, his home airport's T4 Before stock checklist. Flight deck door. Closed and locked. Fuel. Two. Three. Niner. Three. Two. Pounds. Checked. Passenger signs. On. MCP. B2. One. Zero. Zero. Heading. Zero. Altitude. One. Zero. 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 I would like zero. to talk Take to some of the flight symbols from B1, from Trinidad. B1. One. Four. Four. And BR. One. Four. Five. B2. One. Five. 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 One U.S. dollar is six or seven TT dollars. So whatever we spend, imagine multiplying that by six. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm starting up now. Okay. Let's see what the, let's see Maybe. the current exchange rate. Oh, let's there's the button. See. I was showing them like in a 172 or something parked in the very corner of the apron there. You guys hear me? Uh, yep. We got you. Oh my god. Hell no. He's here. We're out. Somebody you like that? Yeah, it's Rick. Uh, there goes the neighborhood. I don't know. Let's all move to that private channel. Yeah. All right. What's I'll going on now? Later. <laughs> <laughs> do, you need, do you need me to ski down a lot of vats in? Oh, uh, yeah, she would. Nah, we just jumped down. Oh, okay. Left. Now Rick we're just. Uh... He did. Oh, oh man. Oh. Well, unless, unless he's joking with us. Yeah. You better be. Okay, so one U.S. dollar is now worth six dollars and seventy-nine cents U.S. Oh, sorry, one dollar U.S. is worth six dollars and seventy-nine cents TT. Dollars with 88 cents zero. We forgot to brief you guys. Well, my last waypoint is Chaka, out. so yeah. Yep. <clears throat> All right. What is that? It's Grenada coming up here. All engine stable. Do you all have that? You to the ILS. Yeah, I need an ILS runway. Uh, well, I need a. Need... Uh, I'll need. Well, I can probably set it up on the way up or on the way oh, like, down or oh, whatever. Oh no! Oh so hell guess, no! Guess who just? Guess who oh, just came on? Oh this guy! Oh what? Oh my God! Is Seriously? that the same guy? I don't know. It's got a number, but not a name. Don't tell me. If it's him, I'm gonna walk off. It doesn't give me a name. No, it doesn't. Oh shit! I need to log off, you guys. Why? 
I just got contacted. I just logged off. Yeah. All right, log true. off. I'm logging yeah, off. I'm logging off, too. Right, oh, man. When you're, when you're ready to roll, Sarah, and you're rolling down the runway, let me know. We're going to use our map on the website to guide us all. Okay. Uh, oh, Avalanta. And if he does... Uh, and if he does log off, we'll come back on. We'll log back in. Yep. All right, just let me know and just let me know, you know, the plan yep, and stuff just, like that. So just let me know when you're rolling down the runway, and then I'll come behind you, and then we'll watch right. you got. We'll watch. We'll watch us on the website. All right, let hey, me. You uh, know he. You know me, he was watching that map. Let me run my. Um, hold on a minute. Volante, you have to. I'm I using know. Sim Toolkit. Hello. Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? Okay. Pretty good. Is that Tom? All right. That's EJ. I'll let him know. EJ, hey, EJ. All right. Hey. I will let them know. <laughs> We're doing a group flight. Just this is fun. Just to go from Tobago, heading to San San Juan. Yeah. I will. You're, you, you'll get to hear the recording and the mayhem this is right now. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, we're taking off, and all of a sudden, my thing's going off. Like seriously, dude. Okay, so EJ is the all guy right. who we need to ask this. EJ, once okay. and for all, is mm, there an elite right. system mm. for for vet sim controllers when people get on? <laughs> we know that. Um, well, so Jesse's still with you with us. He had to go eat, and they're cleaning his room. So, like, just right. making sure that everything's but good. So EJ he just let me know. EJ is a big wig at vet sim, so let's ask him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the uh, I'm actually the director for the Caribbean. So if you're flying in the Caribbean, you're flying my airspace. So I'm okay, actually so checking I'll, which I'll of my the, controllers is on. <laughs> Well, hey, actually, for that, actually question. my next question, this controller doesn't have a name, just a number. Yeah, that's a new VATSIM policy. They, Because of uh, the GRP, they can identify themselves by either their first name, full name, or their VATSIM ID. So you didn't okay. answer the first question, though. Yeah, can, can we do that to ourselves? Yes, you can. Oh, yeah, cool. But you still haven't answered the first question. Though. Yeah, yeah. Um, the answer to that is in our... Oh, in our Discord, in the That's in Caribbean Division Discord. Uh, yeah, if they notice that it's happening, though, somebody will send out an everyone alert and be like, oh, there's there's a group flight oh, going on, let's, let's go control. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's grimy. That's literally grimy. That is trolling. <laughs> that is trolling. Yeah, we had Wait. a big argument with a bunch of New York controllers years ago um, about opportune air controlling. And, and then uh, we to change, to change your entire flight and, plan. And they wanted to, we had about seven or eight of us going into New York, and everybody at least was on downwind. We had people turning final. We had one on base. We were well organized, and we had a vet Taxi controller log on Generators. and started vectoring on, people probing. all around. On and ice. And vet we had a big valve. fight, and we told them, Auto we were all established in the pattern, Continuous. and we're Recall. not going to follow your Check. control. Auto brakes. And RGO. that Flight control. him and two of his supervisors were in our team speak in 30 seconds right. having a big fight. Full back. And they were telling us, Full oh, no, we don't do that. We don't Butter do that. Left. We just Butter log on right. and we Check. control. And we're like, Clear. well, Checklist why did complete. you see like seven of us going into New York and just all of a sudden pop on and want to decide to control us? Before and take it, was, it was ugly. I mean, we were Flaps. all Set well into the pattern. And, Set. Checklist we complete. Just, and we were well spaced, too. So they didn't have any excuses. The, it ended up being a big fight, and our in our team speak they came into our team speak because they knew who we were. Uh, everybody had comments, you know, in the comments who we were, and that was one of probably my biggest disappointing moments with that sim. There was a few. I have a few of them I can tell you about, but that was one of the to me that was the beginning of the end of my that's in oh hell did my smart cars just crash one, yes it did sorry the one that that really that really pissed me off was when somebody who was not even controlling my the space i was in wanted decided to, to come in and decide what to tell me what to do there's no gates here and my like i said when i loaded at the oh block, oh i, I thought i saw gates any, no, there was no gates here. Oh, God. Okay, then. I, I got the default scenery, so yeah. So do I. So do I. Okay, um, American 1040 taking off from runway 11. Okay, you're right clear, now. You're clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, American 1040. Parking break off. <clears throat> Thrust set. I should have skipped this report. This is this report. I'm 
I'm going. Feet alive. Checked. All right, I'm rolling. I'm uh, just coming up to the hold line right now. 80 knots. Checked. We did say we're going to have our drink of choice tonight, right? I'm on beer number four. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I've met you. <laughs> I like this guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, any time I can get on a bad same and drink, just at the opportune time Lots to break somebody out. Oh, oh, oh God! Let please don't up. do that. <laughs> <laughs> have any I'm drinks. rolling. V nav heading select autopilot. V nav on command A on heading select on. Air gun ten forty clear of runway eleven. I think it's going to be a little fashion tonight. Can I go direct to uh, Yuck? Yu <laughs> Whatever yeah. that thing is? Alright. Yep. Yep. Go direct to the first waypoint. Alright, going direct. Is Jay still here? Heading select off. Talking to me? Jay? No, not EJ. Oh. Jay. Alright, this is better. <clears throat> Rick never came back. What I'm gonna have to freak uh, him he told, off. He said, "No, he said he had something to do." I asked him. Oh, okay. He was just checking his key binder. Probably just go to the corner and his wounds after you bruised him. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Flaps two. Well, hopefully we can connect on the way down, you know, because, I mean, that'd be fun. Yeah, we'll keep an eye out to see if he logs back off. He, he might go away because all the fun just went away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. His reason for being. Yeah. He's <laughs> just gone. When we hit um, the Anada waypoint, that's when we're going to be exiting his race. Oh, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm reconnect still inside just to piss him off. Laps up. <laughs> Oh yeah, we'll be out of his airspace, so we will be able to reconnect for landing. Oh yay! Good. Oh no, but I'm gonna connect before just to get back in. Oh, you're bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just gotta figure out my route and where the exit point are. Reconnect. reconnect 20 miles within, um, just before he <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> And when he when he when he starts connecting, he's like, uh, what? <laughs> you know what I should do? You know what you do? I should reconnect, check the map, see where I am, disconnect. <laughs> now you Wait know. Wait ten minutes. Reconnect again. Now you know what you'll do if we're not careful, though. He'll he'll disconnect. <laughs> now he'll be disconnect from there and move up. If he's qualified, he can move up to San Juan. Uh, San Juan. That's so. That's that's Eldon. Eldon's, Eldon's Eldon's not qualified for that. He's a um he's Ooh, a okay. local local yeah, Trinity guy. He he only controls Trinidad. Okay. We have that word from a from a supervisor. Okay, good. So right. if he does it, <laughs> instant report. <laughs> now, now, technically, he can if he wants to, because Piarco and San Juan, that's the same facility that does the training. But I'm I'm sure Elden doesn't want to do that. <laughs> does that want to do I with us? Be, probably. <laughs> yeah, I, I would actually be very surprised if Elden came on just because he saw you guys. He, he's just a he's been here for like 20 years. He's been here longer than I have. And all he does is sit on Piarco. Yeah. But well, how often do we see Piarco online? That's the first thing. That's true. There's Not only yeah. Often. There's there's only three controllers who actively control Piarco. Uh -uh. Yeah. So and what is, Eldon's Eldon's one of them. Which makes it even more suspect that he just that that Piarco, a controller of Piarco just happened to be on twice today. <laughs> Two different controllers. Yeah. Uh, who's the other one? I don't know, he was on the other It's a guy from Barbados. Oh, that's Bradley. Okay. Yeah. The, the, but, you know, the, I, I don't know. But the, of all the, the people that make give me trouble, it's usually not the folks from Piargo, so <laughs> I don't think they're going to try to mess with you once you reconnect outside their airspace. I, just, I re hope I not. I hope not, because, uh, like I said, I mean, I, mean, I, I mainly fly around the U.S., so when, when I'm on VATSIM... I mean, you can look me up if you want. I mean, you know, but yeah, I'm a good pilot. <laughs> I really am. Yeah, yeah. Not with these guys. 
You're hanging with ah, me. shit. You're a reputation of shit. Right. <laughs> right. I forgot to set my freaking cruise altitude. Oh, yeah. I just reconnected. I'm going to log off again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He just contacted me. Please contact me at 123.7. Oh, my God. Dude. All right. We got a long way to go. Passing 10,000 feet. Good to know. Good to know. Poor EJ. <laughs> you might EJ is there sitting taking notes to take back to the bat to more <laughs> I hope I don't get in trouble for disconnecting like that. I mean I just left. No, I'm you like, won't. oh yep, no. no. No, you won't. You can and the rules say you can disconnect from bats in any time you want. It's you reconnecting that just... might be the issue. If I don't want to accidentally reconnect in busy airspace, that would be an issue. Yeah, now but I'm watching you on our map, so I know where you are. I'm so, sitting at my home. I'm sitting on my chair. Yeah. I, <laughs> and, but I'm watching you on the map on our website. So. Ah. <laughs> I had to be formal with you guys. I mean, you know, I'm not, I wasn't on Unicom, but I had to. You know, I'm used to it, so it's like, okay, sorry about that, Randy. You just heard me be a bit formal. Um. When I yeah, was, no worries. Yeah. You met us. You don't have to be formal. You know us. <laughs> Do you know how American Ten Forty doesn't? Actually uh, actually, very, very few pilots, when there's no controllers, actually ev ever, they don't report anything. They just Oh, go. no. I'm, and, I, no. and I could say I'm kind of guilty of the same thing sometimes, but literally 90% of pilots that are doing operations at uncontrolled airspace never announce anything. They just do it. Oh no, no Ray, I Ray, always Ray, 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 announce. Uh, it just, just to attest to that, even in real world, real world flying, if you go to an uncontrolled airport, you yeah. don't technically have to state your intentions. Yeah, you can just taxi out and go. I you would just, just to be safe. I mean, you well, know, I, I never mean, report anything. The, 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 that seems terminology there in the code of conduct is that you're supposed to report things that would interfere with others. Like if you're departing and you notice or you see that there's traffic in the area. You're supposed to report that. But see, that's the thing is, I can't. No others, I can't see, other so I report too. everything that I'm doing just to, just to yeah. keep those around me safe. Which is fine. You know? yeah. yeah, yeah. But there are others, especially the younger ones, who want to like point out the smallest little things. As a supervisor, we get these weird calls where, oh, well, I was I was landing and somebody else was uh, pushed onto the runway, and it's. At the end of the day, it's such a small thing. Vatsim tells you to turn off your crash detection for a reason. So, I, yeah, just use use your best judgment, just like you would drive in a car. Sure. Well, I mean, you know, it, it's kind in of in your case. You know, you, you just <laughs> report everything, and you're you're fine. I mean, I do literally do use my best judgment. I mean, you know, that's what I was taught to report everything. Yeah, yeah. there's a. Uh... Oh man, I'll, I'll tell you what you talk about turning the crash off. I, I had actually, I was a pretty new on Datsim years ago when it was a busy night. We were loading up at San Francisco and there was nobody, no, nobody controlling San Francisco. And there was probably 10 people loaded up at gates getting ready to go. And some asshole loads up in a 172. And somebody told me like a week before, they said, oh, make sure you turn off your crash detect. And so I did, you know, I was like, okay, I better After do that. Because checklist. I was really new and that's him. Some some All little shithead loads Auto. up in a 172 and just Landing goes gear. ramming airplanes up and off, land. Flaps. And like up, half of them disappeared as soon as he hit them. And so people got really pissed real fast. And, you know, when you want the supervisor, you can never get one. And for like 15 minutes, this guy drove rampant around oh San my Francisco, God. ramming airplanes yeah. to see how many people he could take out. And finally, finally, a supervisor got in there and kicked him out. But uh, he probably—he was probably kicked from the, the, the network, I'm sure, because he was. Probably, like, there was yeah. a lot of people. We had, yeah, but it was watch. I was just watched as he as he taxied into these planes, you know, because as soon as he hits them, they they just disappear off the network, you know. <laughs> so I was like, the okay, that's the why they that's why they said don't put your crash detect on. Yeah. Remember the post 9-11 days when people were just logging on to recreate the crashing into the Twin Towers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That could be that bad. And then um, I think shortly thereafter they banned the, the, the you cannot sign in with the aircraft numbers. That, um, yeah, if, if you do that, there's a uh, 
that's some supervisor discord that sends a message to all online supervisors and it gets automatically noted in your file so don't accidentally log in with it either and you see that's the thing you know i i have contention with that i was in the military for 26 years and i worked on lots and lots of different airplanes and i've worked on some that crashed you know they're gone Mm. and um it's there there comes a point in time when and and we're we're to that point now 9-11 was so long ago hey it still brings back awful memories for me but but most most young people don't know about it they don't understand it it's like us understanding you know i've walked the beaches of normandy and calais and i've i can i've seen the war memorials there oh yeah i've been there but, in normandy too but most people don't understand that they don't understand the concept of what happened there all the vets and would have Guys, no idea of this. Uh, i'm in trouble that's a, that's a good idea randy why are you in trouble uh i just got a cdu light set that said reset mcp altitude but i'm 377 nautical miles away from descent um you're fine i'm i'm watching you i'm right i'm right with you actually i'm we're we're only a couple of miles apart right now do you need me to slow down uh i'm watching i'm watching the speed for us okay all right (laughs) sorry uh uh, this is i i normally never just say i never normally never fly without the descent but yeah (laughs) and every cdu light scares me let's let's go ahead and get um the our approach that oh yeah we kind of need that I did yeah, not know. Yeah, let's do that now. Okay, that's probably why you're getting a light. Yeah. And so let's go ahead. We're going to be landing on uh, runway 8. It's ILS runway, so that makes it really convenient. Good, good. Hang on, let me just get to my... And once you get past TKPK Airport, you can go back on that from... I won't be able to see okay. the airport below me, but anyway. I'll, I'll, let, her, I'll let her know when she's there. Okay. It's not for a good fit, but yeah. So I'm I'm set up to go in ILS eight, uh, and I'm using the Chaka four star. All right, let me find that. Uh, wait a minute. I don't see any stars. It's there. Mine says one, and then none ILS. Oh wait, hang on a minute. I think I'm doing the wrong thing. Hold on a minute. Okay. Oh, that looks better. Oh. <laughs> Stupid me! Okay, so ILS 8 to, and we're going to use Chaka 4. Let me actually program the sit in first, because that's normally what I'm used to hearing on uh, Bat the, Sim, the but anyway. Star. Yep. So, yeah, you're Chaka 4? Your star. Yep. I still feel bad for EJ. He comes on here and we just bombard him. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. He He's never coming back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we will see. All right, we've got Chaka <laughs> Four. What uh, is your transition? Uh, there's going to be no transition and no via. And if you remove all of your any discontinuities that you have in your flight plan, you will automatically circle around and you'll be able to capture the ILS on that star. All right, so let me associate runway. What was it again? Eight. Uh, ILS eight. All right, let me associate that runway, then associate the ILS. Yeah, there's like an order to these things, unfortunately. Yeah, and there, there's no transition and no via. I'm actually That's not familiar I'm... with the, uh, but that I, I know the transition. But what was that third term you used? Via. In other words, sometimes they want you to do um, a certain point in the star as a via point. And we're not going to use one. There isn't one for this one, I don't think, anyway. I didn't, didn't, I didn't remember whether it was or not. Sometimes they'll give you three or four different via points that you can use on an, on an approach. Oh, I've never um, seen and that. That's, and actually, actually, that's related to uh, not the star. It's related to the approach. You can, In other words, you can catch, you know, there's different waypoints on the actual approach. Uh, and you can actually pick up that approach at different waypoints on some ILS approaches. Oh wow! So, um, and, but we're not going to use one. So we're actually we're actually going to head out to uh, the initial approach fix is where we're going to catch it at with the with, with the way that's set up. 
Let's see where. Oh. Right there. Alright, I programmed that in. Yay. Alright, good. Make sure you got no discontinuities. And you should be good. Luckily, I know how to do this part. Oh, God, yeah, stepping through is so much fun. Mm hmm Oh, I see it. Ah, uh, we're good. All right, you're good then. So you'll be looking for that initial, you'll be wanting to be at that altitude, and let me get that for you. Uh, uh, I'm flying the Airbus, and sometimes it still gives me curve balls. If I was flying the Boeing, I would have, I could be able to tell you this, the, like, instantly what the waypoints are. I see it. For the approach. Um, uh, let's see. So coming back from runway 8, you're going to have um, an approach waypoint of Patty. I see it. And then the one before that is going to be Jorel. Jorel at... Jor Two thousand four hundred or above. Yep. And so let's see. Um, I could probably try to catch it at twenty four hundred, maybe. Um, yeah. You well, you want to always catch it uh, at that. You you will want to be at twenty four hundred at that waypoint, yes, because then it'll make sure you're catching it from underneath. You always want to catch the glide slope from below it. You don't want to be diving onto a glide slope. That's they're considered bad practice. Uh, yeah, normally I'm, I have very but bad luck. It is so, fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah, when I'm coming into Vegas, I'm diving for that glide and I, I'm lucky most of the time, but uh, yeah, no. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bad it's a bad omen to dive to the waypoint. Uh, for, for a lot of good reasons. Uh, yeah, I've missed it. Let's see. I've missed it. I've almost crashed. I've crashed into terrain. Uh, yeah, it's it's bad. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, yeah, I'm looking at the approach plate here for it. Uh, yeah, if you're at... Uh, if you're at 2400 and Jor-El, you'll hit, you'll catch it easily enough. You'll be well below um, that, and I'm checking the terrain around it. It's going to be good. It's 3200 before that. Yeah, you should be you should be fine, shape. So you'll have plenty of terrain clearance. I was going to say, what's my? I just learned this today when I was studying my minimum, you know, my maximum, or like the minimum I can be, like just in case. Like, what is it? The minimum. Uh, Safe altitude. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, minimum safe altitude. Yeah. Um, the for that area on that approach that we're going to be flying, it's going to be. Let me get the approach plate. Oh, um, 5400 is going to be south of the approach line, so uh, you shouldn't have to worry about it. You're going to be well below that. There's a hill. It's 5400 feet above sea level. Um, that's south of the airport. So, you, but you're, what you're going to do on this approach is you're going to go between that uh, weight or that 5400 height over to catch that waypoint. So you, you should be okay. All right. Yeah, because I'm st I'm studying all this because yeah, I'm actually studying to be uh, an S1 uh, on uh, Vatsim. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Man, I nice. kind of don't know my stuff. I, I kind of know my stuff, but I kind of don't. But I, I'm trying. <laughs> well, you, and the thing is, is uh, you know what? I have I forget stuff all the time. And, and it's like if you don't keep it fresh, um, like I was, I, I tried to help out this guy, one of our members. He's really old, Bob Gujan. Uh, I've been trying to help him get into P3D. He was flying FSX and it always crashed. He had lots of problems with it. And I'm also got him into the Airbus because the Airbus will talk you through Ooh, um, nice. pretty much using checklists. And so, but 
he is really old and he's forgotten a lot about aviation and so it's been kind of a refresher because we've been going over the SIDS and STARS and the approaches and so I've been been kind of forced to go back and relearn <laughs> the things I had forgotten from 25 years ago. Yeah, this is new, um, brand so, new for me. I'm just learning about this uh, now, yeah. so it's just like, oh God, you know. I, well, I've learned about almost all of this before, and it's some of it's I find myself flying differently. I mean, I sure I'm learning <laughs> yeah. how to do this in on like, you know, from the control tower's perspective, but I find myself flying differently now, even after like a week of studying. It's like, whoa, you know, I found my habits uh, changing. I guess I guess yeah. I'm becoming a better flyer. Um, yep. Um, everything you learn always will make you a better pilot. I mean, it's just the way it is. So, um, you know. I mean, you've been to my uh, talk. I one day want to do this in real life. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I would. I don't know what the opportunities are out there because I've never asked. But there, there may be. You know. I, I don't know what they're what they do. Center tanks below 1,000 pounds. Um, but starting off on that sim uh, would be kind of coolish. I think you know I think it'd be a good, a good thing, a good learning place. Because they'll start you off probably on clearance delivery, right? That's where I have to start. That's actually where I'm forced to be stuck at. Okay. All right. So you're not going to be able to do ground. See, if they had some kind of software that would work with that, it would be kind of cool. But... I'd love to do tower one day. I mean, I really would. I'd love to do. I'd love to do all the positions one day. But right now, it's just not possible. But there's another blind controller. I interviewed him last year, and he would love to do all the positions. But right now, it's not possible. Yeah, that's important. Unless I want to ask every pilot for a report position and keep in my head where no, you know, I know my limits. Yeah. Um, well, you could go to a non-radar airport. <laughs> That would, I uh, could, that uh, would. I could. I'm just saying, like that, that is that is possible because we have a few of them here in the Caribbean um, that are like that, such as Haiti is completely non-radar from the beginning of the airspace to the end of the airspace. But I'm... it would still cause issues, I think, with the tower position. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, it... possibly. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure it would. You know, one misstep and that's it. I'm, I'm, I, yeah, because I mean, I take even though this isn't, isn't a job. I take what I do very seriously as, well, Randy just found out today when I practically freaked. <laughs> oh, you're doing the best you can. That's, that's... Uh, well, she know. didn't want to, she didn't want to cheat. And so we, we were, we were encouraging her to cheat. But <laughs> at the time we were uncontrolled, so it, it just made things easier for her uh, to load well, up. Well, I would have repositioned at a gate, gotcha. but now that you tell me there is none... There was no gates at that airport, so you wouldn't... I, I was... I literally, when I loaded the, the fuel box, I was in the forest. I had to actually push back. Oh, the wow! It was... The fuel box was in the forest, so... And I had to... Got pushed back and got onto the center of the runway, and I taxied down to the... What little ramp space they have there, but there's no gates, no, no buildings or anything there. You know, the one thing I forgot to do when we left, yeah. I forgot to disconnect the fuel truck, so yeah, I think I'm dragging the fuel truck behind me. <laughs> uh, now the hose would break, don't worry. Okay, well... The hoses are designed to break at certain points, and so is the nozzles. So. Let's just hope I have enough fuel to get there. Because trust me, you and it, it, that's happened in the real world before, where planes have taxied out with fuel hoses stuck to them. I just plain forgot. I was so busy freaking out, I just forgot. Air hoses, power cords, <laughs> air air sources. You, anything that you can connect to an airplane has been left connected. To oh, no. Now. Yeah. And I bet oh, you yeah. that pilot gets a good talking to afterwards. Well, a whole lot of people do, because that's a ground crew responsibility, actually. And the same thing with, like, when you hook up, like, a ground power unit to an mm -hmm. airplane, you know, and you get ready to pull it away, and you, you pull it away with the cord still connected to the airplane. That's kind Oops. of bad juju, student. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. So, especially if they're not on internal power yet, you know? And uh, yeah, that happened they, to me. They put a battery, and then you've got, yep. you know, the FMC, INS issues. Oh, no, that happened to me. Well, in the PMDG, I was I had stepped away for a half hour. I left my battery on, 
And I'm doing stuff I thought I, I well, I was connected to ground power. And I'm doing stuff new. What the? What the? Mm -hmm. Um, can someone give me a jump? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I now, as a habit, turn off my battery when I can when I'm connected to ground power. It's just a habit that I have now. Like, oh uh, yeah, we're not. That's not happening again. Let's see, Nick, are you logged back into that sim yet? Where'd he go? Sabbatical, I think. Hmm. Well, I'm 29 miles away from... No, 28 miles away from... Uh, Sorrel? Um. Sierra, Oscar, Romeo, Romeo, Lima? Hang on a second. Yep, right about that's pretty close. Yeah, I just hope I have enough fuel. I think I do. I think you should be all right. I don't know how much you put on, but you should be okay. How about 17,500 17, or so pounds? Yeah, because yeah, I right. wasn't paying attention, and I think I might have disconnected early. Yeah, I think, I think you're okay. Well, like, I, like I said, I was so busy freaking out. I'm like, uh, yeah, oops, I just, yeah. I'm flying with a CI of 60 anyway, 60 anyway, so I think I should be good. We're burning 62.50 pounds per hour, and we have 49 minutes to go. I'll be fine. Nick should be out. Uh, control their space by now. Take a look at my, let's see what's going on. Speed back up a little bit here, so we can get in behind you. Oh yeah, I'm out of, I'm out of the help with their space. Reconnecting. And my flight plan's filed anyway, so that's a good thing. I don't have to refile anything. I don't even think I have to redo my remarks, do I? No, I was refiling my flight plan. You should be able to log back in. And then, uh, right now? Uh, not or yet. Wait. We're not out yet. Oh, we're wait. not? Okay. Yeah, we're not out. Nick's, Nick's out, I think, and Anson might be out because he's on a little bit of a different flight path. Oh, but no, I'm using now. his. I'm, you're not using Anson, you're using mine. Oh, so I'm with you. I... I'm, I'm so right Are you guys you. waiting to reconnect once you exit his airspace? Yeah. No. Oh, I told him. I told him not to not to contact you guys. Oh, did he really? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, we can reconnect. I'm reconnecting now. Then. Are you sure? Let me. Let me. Yeah. I'll if he test, if he I'll sends you a message, yeah. If he sends you a message, let me know. I I told him already to leave you alone. <laughs> we appreciate this. <laughs> <laughs> So just connect to one. Uh, wait, do I need to reload my flight plan? Yes, I do. Into vPilot, do I? Um, wait, do I need to refile? I've never actually had to reconnect. You just, just it, once you reconnect, just hit the file flight plan button, and it goes yeah, back into the system. Yeah, it'll file back. Yeah, it'll oh. file back. Then. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out of the space. Let me see how I am looking here. Is my mic working? Yeah, yeah, we we can hear you answer. Oh, okay. Just making sure. I'm not showing up on that spot yet, so but we should be pretty close to being out anyway. Let's see. 
Okay, so Which I'm on flight plan right now. Do I hit fetch from server? What do I do? Like I said, I've never had to... No, like... just, just hit file. Oh, oh uh, there you are. And my, my remarks so, no, are... You're... My remarks are already there? Um, yep, they'll, everything, if you didn't change anything, it'll all still be there from okay. the last time. All so right. You're 148, in... you're 148 from the boundary. Yeah. We're still oh, yeah, you're coming coming to log off. <laughs> <laughs> we're no, logging okay. off. So, right, so hit file a flight plan? Uh, we had a supervisor cover for us and told us that uh, we didn't have to worry about. Uh, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we know we know a guy. So oh, do I hit flight plan? Huh? So do I hit file flight plan then? Yeah. Um, let me see what you got here. Let right. me check your details. Uh, no, no. Do I hit? You... Do I hit file flight plan? I, I don't know what I'm doing here. You don't have to. Actually, you're you're still in there. I just I pulled am? up your info and your. Oh, so okay. So I could just. There. Oh, so I could just X out of that X out of that menu then. Or a menu, yeah. whatever that thingy. Uh, yeah, you're reconnected, yeah. And you're you're good. You don't have to do anything else. I think I need uh, to reconnect to Unicom, don't I? Uh, no, uh, when you when you connect to Betsim, I see you on there. You're connected. How much you paying this guy there, Randy? Oh, yeah, I see that. I <laughs> see not, that. Oh. It's, uh, we have a member that's with... Uh, that I, yeah, know. No, I'm <laughs> uh, Your primary frequency is 122.8, so you, yeah, you're still on Unicom. Okay, cool. Yeah. And I never did that. <clears throat> no, yeah, you didn't. you were never no. here. No, you were never yeah, here. Never you were never here, no? We have no idea. Who are who you? you? Are we, we don't exactly. know who you are. We don't know... <laughs> We don't know what you had for lunch. Exactly. <laughs> Where your kids go to school, nothing. Man. I, I'll send no, you we my don't know any information. Going to you know, hush money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm 200 miles out. I'm 337. I, I can see it now. It's uh, we're gonna we're gonna get close, and San Juan Center is gonna pop up. Oh my God. That'll be fun. Now, there's airplanes over there in that area already. If they were going to pop up, they would have been. They would have done there's so some, already. There's somebody doing. There's somebody doing something up above us up there. I don't know what they're doing. Looks like Frontier. A bunch of Frontier guys are attacking. Uh, the they relocated from one airport to St. Martin, from uh, Grand Case to St. Martin. Okay, because there's a whole bunch of them up there, right around St. Martin, trying to do that one. Yeah, I have my B pilot traffic set to three, so uh, I can't see anything but three planes around me. Anyway, it just does a really good thing to my. If I have anything more than three, my sim crashes. Mm. Oh. I'll hear you guys, but I won't see you. Go ahead, Anson. You're at top of the set. One hundred miles from top of the set. Oh, okay. I was like, whoa. Nice. Yeah, uh, me, Sarah, and Nick, you, we're, us three are flying the same flight plan. And Nick, you're going, uh, you are going just to confirm, uh, you're doing the, um, the Chaka, uh, yes, star, Chaka. and no transition, no, uh, visa. Uh, correct. I, I think I had runway, wait, what runway did you have? Runway eight. Okay. So. Gotta do some circling. Yeah, it'll be a, a downwind uh, on the north, on the south side, and then it'll be a right hand turn to base and a right hand turn to final. Okay, sounds good to me. That's what the chart says, anyway. But you never know. Charts are for pansies. Who needs charts? Uh, I can't read it. I can't read a chart anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it doesn't do you any good. But that's what the chart says, though. And it, old fashioned number one finished. Yeah, you're very girly with your cherries in it. Well, Are we do? I hope we do another. I hope we. I hope I get to fly with you guys tomorrow. That'd be that'd be fun. Yeah, we're probably gonna pick. Um, we're, we'll. I know. We'll, we'll probably do some flying in the outback in Australia um, tomorrow. And I've never done I that before. That. That'll be fun. Um, and there's there's a lot of nice little airports in Australia. Will I be able to fly seven thirty seven in them? In them? Yeah, sure. Um, Airbus is 737. It's going to be all the same thing. So okay. We can all go. We'll, we'll fly like um, uh, Qantas routes or. Uh, and then can I be myself? <laughs> can I yeah, be myself can, and, and. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, I go by the book? Yeah. 
No, you know I what I mean? Can I go by the book? <laughs> no, you don't. You're, you're uh, I will not be here story. tomorrow as I will, we're going down to the lake tomorrow morning. Oh, wow. Um, we'll miss you, mystery voice. I don't know who you are. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to call you. Um, <laughs> wow. I'm going to call you Cameron. Okay. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you met back. me in San Diego. You're I did? I don't world. recognize your voice at all, in fact. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah you know him. I do. What yeah, did I just, just? What did I just you, come into? Okay, Randy, yeah. do you want to fill Jesse uh, in on just, the last? Just so you know, uh, uh, Jesse, she's calling Anson, you know, handsome again. I am not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesse, I mean Randy, you want to fill Jesse in on the last thirty minutes? That was just, oh Wait, my god. What am I gonna do with you? What thirty minutes? Oh yeah, right. Do, what thirty do you minutes? That's how, right. How much? How much trouble? This girl's in for cheating on all the rules. No, wait a minute! No, 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 no! You? Okay. No, hold she on! Hold on! You told me to. <laughs> Every time we told boy. her <laughs> how to do things the right way, she said, "No, I'm just going to do it this way." Uh, and, that's and, not and me. Supervisor heard her as he's. No, on. no, no, no! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! That's not me, <laughs> man. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Let me ask you guys a question: Did she land or did she crash? I'm no, still in the air. Down. Where's the Down. Down. Oh, you're still. So Sarah managed to stay in the air this time for more than 20 minutes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now she's uh, doing good. I'm, I'm oh, right behind her. Are there are there any controllers? Yes and no. Yes and no. We won't wait, talk about that. Wait, we won't. We won't talk about that. Wait, I'm kind of confused. How could there and not be controllers? Well, we won't talk about that. You didn't hear about it. Nothing happened. Absolutely we, nothing happened. That's all we can say is we know a guy and he he fixes things. So, yes, so, yes, he fixes <laughs> things. <laughs> oh, I'm lucky. You guys are lucky. I don't have any sight because if I because if I had sight, I would have gotten on at uh, San Juan, and I would have literally had to had to bring you guys in one by one. Oh God, <laughs> hell no! And, what, uh, wait, 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 wait! Why wouldn't you want me to bring you in? And, and, and our, our our responses will always be back. Your communications are very garbled. Could you please say again? Uh huh. <laughs> say again. What was that again? So hold on a minute. So Sarah wouldn't. So wait. So Sarah. I think I'm probably the only one who me. goes by the book. Sarah wouldn't trust me if I had full sight. For me bringing her into the airport. Well, you are my boyfriend, so you probably would make sure I wouldn't crash. Now, Randy, on the other hand, you could make them crash if you want. <sighs> no, no, no. Uh, as controller, that would be highly unethical. That's certainly true, yeah. <laughs> That's like you telling me to do something on my in my job that I'm not supposed to do. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. And I know that I could <laughs> literally get in trouble for big time. Yeah, good point. Well, no, no, no. You can make them go round and round and round and round and round and round in circles. Oh. And then we just declare an emergency and just say, hey, I'm out of gas. Jesus. We're coming in. Yeah. Oh, I'll, be right, <laughs> yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you oh, could just make yeah. Randy and Anson go round and round and round and round in circles, and you could bring me in. How's that? Anson, how many plates of turkey have you eaten? <laughs> oh, just one. One very big plate. Oh, just <laughs> oh, Okay. What did you have? Turkey, rice, beans? No, no, just took you know, a slice of fresh made bread. Oh, that sounds good. Okay. Oh, I thought you were going to have, like, turkey stuffing. The sauce. sauce. Nah. It was just these two tenderloin, the turkey breast. Oh, that sounds good. And I just cooked them up real nice oh. in the oven and came up really tender. So, 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 Sarah, you're doing another... Wait, are you still having your training today? I don't think so. I didn't see anything on the events calendar, and I haven't seen anything uh, in the... Uh, in the group, so yeah, I don't know. Did did you ask Anthony anything? I asked this morning. I said still on for today. Nothing. Okay. No, no, no. I just I just was looking at the time. Like, oh, it's eight something. Yeah, I see it. No, you don't. You're blind. <laughs> How could you see it? It's all one twenty nine Zulu. There. Oh boy. He went there. <laughs> yeah, Jesse. If you're ever, if you ever do have full sight, uh, yeah, you can do that. Make Anson and the rest go round and round in circles, and then no. just bring me down, man. Mm. 
<laughs> or vector them off to nowhere for like 20 no, no, minutes no. and then bring me no, no, in. No, no, I'm kidding. No, 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 no. What I'll do, I'll let, I'll let, I'll let you do a holding pattern for practice, and then I'll bring them down one by one, and then I'll tell you to exit hold. Oh God! I'd want to no, kill no, no, you. No. You need, you need practice. I know this. Because you're gonna do across the pond next year. I am not. Why not? Um, that would be a good I'm a little scared place. to do that. Sweetie, Truthfully, it's like I am terrified to do across Sweetie, the pond. It's like, Sweetie, it's like the flight you're doing now, except a hell of a lot longer. And a hell of a lot more busy. How, how was the how was the departure? We won't talk about that. Perfect, actually. Oh, it was, was flawless. It that bad? We no, won't talk flawless. about that. It, it was it was flawless. That's all I can say. Uh, we won't talk about that. How, how wait, sweetie? How far are you from your top of descent? Probably about ninety miles. Eighty, eighty-five. Two hundred and sixty something. Where are you getting ninety from? So wait a minute. So wait a minute. So both Randy and Sarah are flying PMDGs. No, I'm flying in an Airbus. Oh, okay. Uh, sweetie, I guess you're on your own when it comes to the CDU part. No, he helped me program, uh, my, um, uh, my, um, approach, yeah. yeah, my approach. Sorry, I think you're right behind me. Is that you in the uh, American Airlines 7378? Uh, am I American 1040? It just, um, it doesn't show you your, your, your flight number. I see American. Yeah, it does. Well, I'm looking on, um, on FS Tram. Okay, let me see. Let me the bad spot. Wait, 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 wait. FS Tram? Yep. Ugh, yuck. How many of you like FS Tramp? Ew, ew, ew. Uh, that program and me? Uh, <laughs> no. I don't use that anymore. Uh, Anson, that's not her behind you, that's Perez. Oh, okay. Red I was gonna say. I was gonna say. You're on two different, completely different routings. <laughs> okay. hey, the way we're going, I'm gonna I'm a beat y'all there. <laughs> Going to? Going yeah, to we'll just have Nick uh, go around in circles and circles and circles and circles. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 so now you know my name. I'm not Cameron anymore? Nope. <laughs> sweetie, how's the, sweetie, how's the weather? Uh, I don't know. You didn't look at the Metar? You're supposed to know uh, practicing I didn't. Uh, read those? <laughs> I kind of forgot to do that, but I heard that I have clear winds, so I'm not worried. <laughs> oh, boy. I hope the weather in San Juan is good. We uh, have variable winds morning. from 360 to 120, so I should be all right uh, right now. I heard it was snowing. Wait, Holy what? No. Shit, <laughs> snowing in San Juan. Holy shit. <laughs> Mother Mother Nature must really be whacked. Oh, shit. We have winds 307 at 25 right now up in the air, where, at least at my uh, flight level. Got mm. four zero. Flight level 30 for me. Yes, he's flying a little rinky dinky 737 800. No, nope, that's what that uh, sim brief gave me. I did it again. Okay, sweetie, I told you what to do. Write a letter to VATSIM and tell them that you want to integrate sim brief into the VATSIM client. <laughs> no. And then it will be called VAT brief. Yeah. That'd be cool, actually. Yeah, sim that... brief does send, does pre file. Yeah. It, it does, does, but I can't fill out the stupid form because, well, I write too much, and those fields uh, uh, after the comment look kind of funny. Oh, okay. They're kind of labeled funny. You know, but I write too much, so, yeah, I have to send in these huge comments Where? with sets of instructions. By the way, where the heck is that airport that you guys left from located? Uh, near... Um, Tobago. Tobago, yeah. Trinidad. Yeah, Trinidad near Trinidad. Trinidad. Tobago? Yep. Yep, that's where TFM said I was. Ooh, that's a long flight. No, it's not. It's only uh, an hour. Hour and a half-ish. You mean I could have flown to Trinidad and Tobago from San Juan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though, yeah, well, I don't know, I, I think the St. Thomas, I think it was more or less, no, so St. Thomas, I think it was like 40 minutes. <coughs> it was like really short. Thomas, post that stuff. They didn't even give us no freaking water. Aww. That's how short the flight was. 
Aww. You could have, you could have taken off, gone and taken a piss, and, and you were like already <laughs> landing by the time you were done. Oh, poor Jesse, poor Jesse, lo siento. Guys, if you haven't noticed, she's actually learning how to speak in Spanish. Very bad Spanish. No, you mm. don't. You actually said that correctly. Lo siento para um para ti. Okay, you feel for sorry me? for me. Yes, I do. Mm. Except mm -hmm. I'm saying it kind of in a condescending tone, but anyway. <laughs> ah, loggy, 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 log at Jesse. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm logging at him. <laughs> so are you gonna? So are you gonna go trading your Xbox, really? Not at the moment. You should trade it in. They'll give you 125 bucks for it. Hey, I could use that toward a new Apple Watch. Hell yeah. Just go to Best Buy and trade it in. Just make sure you bring all the shit with it. I have two controllers. I have a dock that doesn't... Well, the, a dock that's not original. I have uh, the power cable. Yeah, I pretty much have everything. You could bring... At least I think I, would, I have the second controller. What I would do... What I would do... Is I would... Is I would um, bring, uh, use, okay, connect the original HDMI cable that came with your Xbox Series X, uh, connect the original power supply that came with it, and then bring them the one that you were using for the other Xbox. No. Why not? That's what you're, it comes with the HDMI cable and the power supply. I have to, f I, I think, uh, I have to, I actually lost track of the cables. I have them. I just don't know which one's which, because, um, remember both, one of them's plugged into my capture card? Oh, well, unfortunately, I can't kind of go to your house to see that, but. Oh. Hopefully the weather should be clear. Twenty nine minutes until top of drop. Two hundred and twenty nautical miles until top of drop. Yay. So let me so let me guess Ensign, So let me guess. Ensign's flying an Airbus, uh, Randy's flying an Airbus, Nick is or whoever the other gentleman is, uh, the one that's using a, another mic, uh, is flying an Airbus. Um I'm actually in a seven three eight. Oh, oh, nice, cool. Probably, probably with X plane. Nope. Anson, race Nobody. you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what is it? A P PMDG, I guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, Anson, Anson could help you out. <laughs> hey, Anson. Yo. Race you. No, I'm kidding. So you hold on, <laughs> Jesse. Hold on. What the? What's my name now? <laughs> huh? Well. First of all, I didn't know your name to begin with because I hadn't even looked at the thing. Oh, well, uh, that, I just knew you. I just knew you as a guy that's using a different mic. Guy that's using a different mic. Yeah, your mic sounds. Guy standing next to um, one of your, <laughs> your mic sounds kind of uh, 8K-ish. He's on a Bluetooth headset. Oh, I am on a, okay, she is correct. I am on a Bluetooth headset. Okay, that's why. Is is that how I sound? No, you sound no? great. You sound I almost okay. called you. Weird. I almost called you Evan. You sound like the guy who uh, works at uh, Boston and takes me down all the time. Oh, are you are you in Boston? No, wait. My uh, my ARTCC thing. No, I'm actually going to be trying for the West Coast. Ah, have fun. Why do you say it like that? Who is that? Uh. I of the teams that do the best training and help, I think Boston's been very good at that. Uh, Los Angeles, or, or I should say the... Uh... I've heard some interesting things about Los Angeles, actually. Um, not. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 we will, we will. I mean, I could, but I don't know about, like, accessibility. I mean, I don't know. I, I just feel like, yeah, I just want to yeah. feel wanted. If, yeah, if they're working oh, with you and, and you feel good... 
No, 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 no. Right now, um, guy whose last name I can't pronounce, we'll just leave it at that, is working with me right now. I'm studying like crazy, and I'm probably going to be taking my test in about January. And by the way, guys, we've got scattered clouds! <laughs> Get ready to descend. I'm already descending. I didn't hear you who declare your me? intentions. Who is who is J A? J A? Yeah, I see what? I see a person in the it said let me see, hold on. F V N six five six J A? Oh, you're talking about Jay. His name is Jay, and his last name is with an A. That's what you're talking about. Oh, okay, because I was J A, and I'm like, who's that? <laughs> I mean, I could talk to, um, I could talk to a guy whose name I can't pronounce, and see, because I really wanted my friend and me to, like, work together and be on the same, you know, thing, and since we're on the West Coast, um, but, I mean, should, does it matter? I live on the West Coast, but can I, can I, um, take my training anywhere? Your head. Uh, yes and no. Um, if you go to a place like Boston or Atlanta or something, they're what we call major airports. Oh, so no, 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 they, no, no. They will, what, what that means is, is if you apply to be there, they will just do a checkout and make sure that anything that you've learned elsewhere, that you're good in your new location, that is also a major location, and then you're good to go. But yeah, your ratings can go anywhere. Okay, so then where should I... Where would you advise that I start after assuming that I pass my test? If you feel good where you are, then then by all means start there. I'm um, not sure if I feel good where I am. I'm still trying to pass my test. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then give it a little bit more time and see what you think. Um, Boston just happens to be my particular favorite one, but that doesn't mean that <laughs> it's the best one. Uh, just a lot of the, the development that comes from VATSIM comes out of that area. They, they've done a lot to support VATSIM. Oh, wow, yeah. So much um, so. So much ahead. so that the one time that Vatsim wasn't on their side, Boston almost came out and made their own version of Vatsim. Whoa! <laughs> they're, they're a very, very big technical support team. Um, I mean, the, yeah, I mean, the guy I was working with uh, who helped me do the last part of my... T oh, did you... I gave a talk at uh, 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 FS Expo this year. <clears throat> I heard about it. I, I wasn't in attendance. I actually registered, had my ticket and everything, but never showed up. Oh, God. Yeah, um, the talk actually did get modified a little bit, but yeah. Um, did I post the link anywhere? I think I did, didn't I? Somewhere? Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, so go look for it. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I, it'd be interesting to hear, yeah. And then you can get me back by... Then you can get me back by uh, holding me in circles and circles and circles and circles. Or I could do the same to you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. Since I'm doing clearance, denied. Yeah. I, I was, I was going to joke with you guys, and I was going to come on San Juan Center for a second, just, just for the fun of it, but I, I decided against it. <laughs> Not a good idea. <laughs> I mean, I've never flown into this airport before, so yeah, I'm a little tiny bit nervous. Although... Um, oh yeah, so Jesse, tell about what happened with American 1040. Do you know the firefighters? That was this year, and that was fun. She flew from Istanbul. No, 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 O'Hare. No, 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 not oh. O'Hare. Heathrow, Heathrow. Yeah, you, yeah, you flew from Heathrow to Frankfurt. Heathrow to Frankfurt, and then not Frankfurt. Uh, e D D M. Um, Munich. Munich. I think it was Munich. 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 <coughs> Munich. So she flew in there, she landed, uh, something happened, I think she landed like really hard or something, and the controller goes, hey, do you need the firefighters? And Sarah's like, <laughs> no, I don't think so. And then we hear, <laughs> yeah. uh oh No, no, I think I said, yeah, I think I do, I'm in pieces over here, but I think we're good. Oh, oh boy, boy, that's that funny. Funny as hell. And then tell about, well, because I was struggling to hear this guy. Uh, this was when I flew into Istanbul. He, I said, no, I'm going to try to reposition. Gate of your choice. Well, I didn't hear him properly because his mic, the accent, everything was against me. Stand by. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, just listening to Medar. Um, so, you remember this, Jesse. Um, so, I... So he goes, Gate of your choice. I said, never mind. Um, I'll just disconnect. Um, you know, thank you so much for your services. And right as I unkey, get off the runway! Clear the runway! <laughs> uh, from a pilot, not the controller. Yeah. Hey, where are we? Yeah. I was off writing an email. Are we we're we getting anywhere? I'm on my descent. Yeah, one six pilot. zero miles from top of drop. That pilot. Uh, one six zero. Uh, yep, that's about right. That pilot was rude. I'm one hundred and thirty one oh. nautical miles from Chaka. Your a, a pilot was rude. You're not talking about Sarah, are you? No, 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 no. This was somebody that was rude to Sarah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Sarah, Sarah's a little angel. Uh, oh, yeah, not right? today I wasn't, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> no, she was fine. We swear. I didn't feel fine. Oh, did she almost stall her plane? Okay, so tomorrow, Sarah, you're going to have to have a cocktail. <laughs> so you can relax. You know, my mom says the same thing. My mom says the exact same thing. Just just to chill out a little bit. Because you know I do things by the book. You know this. Well, I have to. I'll pick out some things here in Australia for us to go down there and see what we can do. That'll be fun. I, I really would love to. Because actually this is like the last Friday that I have off until next year. So like next uh, Christmas. So yeah, I really want to spend this. I want to have some fun. It's funny. Yeah. You guys get to be flying, and I get to be getting prepared to start working home on Monday. So you get to prepare? No, I'm kidding. You get to prepar 3D? I guess. I get to play tomorrow with VPNs and work computers after I get home from work. I'm at Va West, Wen West End Village, West End, is it Vankilla or Enkilla? I, uh, I can't pronounce that, but yeah. Enkilla? Enkilla? Yep. Um, Enkilla? No, Enkilla. Enkilla? Yeah, Enkilla? I'm not sure. It's to like Anguilla. the Bahamas or something. You're doing I don't what? know where the hell I'm going, so... <clears throat> Are you going down yet, Anson? Yep, to Alphabet Street. Yeah, <laughs> Nick, uh, Nick, Nick's uh, doing pretty good there. He's almost uh, that top of the No, he, no he's thirteen thousand approach. Twenty-eight miles he's, out. Yeah, he's on the approach. I'm gonna laugh. At oh, work. when did you take off? When did you? Okay, you'll fly five pounds at once a mile. Yeah, I had the faster route. Not the Anson route, like everything else is slow. Why are you coming in from, why are you, why are you not going up the direction though? I'm doing a downwind basin pile. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're you're coming around the mountains and we're going north of the mountains and then doing uh, a right hand pattern into the, the runway. Okay. So you're gonna, you have to go around the mountains to the, to the west. Yeah, yeah. So it's 2148, uh, 2144 where my sim, where I am right now, sim wise. So yay! Four hours hey, ahead of, four you? hours ahead of uh, local. It's one hour ahead of me. Okay, I just turned the corner to follow you, Sarah. I think I'm probably what uh, I, I'm probably a good ways behind you now. I, I slowed way down because I. Thought I was getting too close to you, and then uh, somehow you, you sped up like crazy. That always so. happens. That always tends to happen. Go to uh, Mach point eight two. I think I got it pushed to the barber pole right now. Actually, trying to catch up. I do. Yeah. Yeah, F E N F E N one speed to Mach point eight two, man. That plane can't go faster than what he already is pushing it to. Yeah, I got it. I got it right. That's it. I just. Bumped it up to point eight two, and I'm waiting for it to sing to me and tell me it's going. Too bad. Are you redlining it? <laughs> yeah. Remember, it's, yeah. Really, it's an Airbus. It's not a seven thirty seven. I've got it point yeah. eight two in an, Air, in an Airbus. <laughs> Actually, like, I've got about eight point uh, point eight four. But anyway. Free, no, 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 no. You mean that freeware thing that you used to fly? That fly yep. That yep. Really nasty. Yeah. That yep. That count. one. No, 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 no. You gotta fly the real thing. Man. Oh, let me grab my descent ones real quick. Remember that was that speed record that was set by, uh, by uh, um, a 
think it's British Airways 747 flying to, to London. It got, it got to its destination a couple of hours ahead of schedule because it had such a strong tailwind. Yeah. Well, 747s can routinely do like nine, uh, 0.92. Yeah. That's Jesus. usually what they fly. They're, the 747, for being a big airplane, can fly fast. Yeah. I normally take it at 0.84 in my 777. I have taken it faster, but... Oh, there we 777 go. is a little bit slower. Yeah. Well, she's moved up to 0.83, and it's not ringing at me yet, but it's on the barber pole right now, so... And, and so you know what that means, um, no. Sarah? I don't know if you understand what that means. No. Uh, there's a place in the speed indication on every airplane where it has red and white stripes or red, so you just beat me once, um, or red dashes, and they call it the barber pole because that's what it originally looked out like in early airplanes is it looked like a barber pole, which is a pole that's painted in a circular red and white Spiral. ring that spirals up. Oh, yeah. I felt a barber pole. My grandpa had one. Yeah, and so yeah, that's, that's why they call it the barber pole. You're at the barber pole means that you're at the limit, the speed limit for the airplane. Do you know I just why, you how, how, how that came to signal about, about the shops? No, I, I don't. Back in the old days, barber shops were always also places where you would do bloodletting. So, and the, the, the bandages that they use will be wrapped around a pole outside to dry. So the red ones were the fresh ones, and the blue ones were the ones that have been there for a while. Oh. Well, here here in the 1800s in the United States, just not that long ago, really, the barber was like the surgeon, the dentist. Yep. He, he was they everything. Did everything. They did mm-hmm. everything, yeah. They cut here and they... <laughs> and they pulled your teeth. Up my minus to the Sewed up wounds and pulled your, your teeth. Yeah, it was right. crazy. You went to the barber shop for everything. What am I hearing? I'm, I'm hearing like a guy's like deep voice in the background. That's my ATC program. Oh, what are you using? Pro ATC or something? Yep, exactly. Oh wow! And it's working with the current uh, Eric Cycle mismatches. Yep. yep, yep, yep. Nice. Yeah. I, I don't. Used... I don't need anything like that because I have ATC voices in my head. That, <laughs> could... <laughs> that just talk to me. Yeah. Oh, Randy. Speed <laughs> point shop, eight but... two. Speed I point eight two. Know. Randy. Yeah, I'm, I'm at oh, point eight two. I tried to point eight three, but it started beeping. It started me. yelling at you. Okay. Yeah. I still don't see you on my uh, radar, but then again, I, I don't have a very wide um, radius well, anyway. Um, yeah, well, you're behind me. Or, or you're... What? I'm behind, I'm behind you. I was going to say, um... So, uh, yeah, and so when I'm... When the plane doesn't look, look behind itself very well because of the way the radars fit, so that antenna doesn't see through the airplane very well, and so realistically, it's really hard to see airplanes that are behind you. Uh, TCAS can give you warning. I was going to say, my TCAS... <laughs> TCAS will give you warnings, but TCAS is a very range-limited signal. And so it, you have to be very close for TCAS to work. Oh, you mean like what happened that day? <laughs> ah, yeah, don't worry, just go through me. Yeah, that's exactly right. When you get TCAS warnings, that when you get a TCAS warning, that's telling you it's computed that you are on way too close of a trajectory to meet this other airplane. Now, they let's also, say they, if I'm told to rise and rise now, and Vatsin's giving me another... I know I have to disobey that, but do I just let them know, hey, my TCAST is going off, I've got to disobey, or something like that? Uh, that's a good question. I, I never really posed that question. I don't know the answer to that question, actually. Um, Depends on where I, you are. <laughs> yeah, I would... If I would defer this question to my brother for real-world answers. Um, oh, Google? Yeah. No, my, my brother Google's flies your brother? My, hey, yeah, what was your mom? Uh, <laughs> now, my brother Double flies color? for a living, so um, he would... Are you uh, talking about in real world, or are you talking about on Vatsim? On well, Vatsim. Vatsim emulates... the real world. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, it's supposed to emulate the real world. <laughs> Except um, I can't really teleport from... No, <laughs> but anyway. So if, if you remember, there was this crash that happened years ago um, over Europe. Uh, a DHL 
cargo and a Russian um, charter plane. And the reason that the crash happened was because TCAS went off. And in the United States, you're told that TCAS takes priority. And in Europe, they were taught that TCAS is secondary to the controller. So the controller gave the plane instructions to climb. TCAS gave the other plane instructions to climb. Um, yeah. So they I both can see where climbed that's going. and crashed. Oh, no. So afterwards, I mean, it, it, I will defer, of course, to anybody who has real world experience, but my understanding is afterwards. TCAS takes priority, and on VATSIM, TCAS does take priority. I'll, I'll ask my brother about that and see what he says. I think Mentor Pilot said the same out. thing. I think Mentor Pilot said the same yeah. thing. Did the, yeah. did, did the TCAS is telling you to rise and the controller is telling you otherwise? You have to tell the controller, hey, I'm getting a resolution on my TCAS. I'm going to obey it. Yeah, probably that's the way to go. TCAS is telling you, if you're close to a plane, it's telling you, hey, well, you're about to hit it. Uh, you well, better do something like now. Well, it's also telling you how to avoid hitting it. And I think that's the thing is, is it tells you how to avoid hitting the other airplane. Um, because it understands the, both the flight paths of the airplanes. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm, that's a good question. I'm going to ask my brother and see what he says because he he flies into a lot of high density areas, um, and so he I know he's gotten TCAS warnings before in the past, and I never really kind of questioned him about it. He just mentioned that hey, you know, we were flying into Miami and got a TCAS warning, and you know, the blah blah blah. And I didn't really pay attention, and I didn't question him. But I'll see what he says. Yeah, if he ever calls me, if he ever stops working enough to freaking call me, or I call Aww. him. Aww. <laughs> you probably should give he's him a call on New Year's, man. Literally, Christmas Day, Christmas evening, he was coming back late from the Bahamas. Um, Is he still flying the Challengers Day. or whatever? Yeah, yeah, he still flies the Challengers. I'm over St. John yeah. Island right now. <clears throat> he flies freaking all the goddamn the time. The... You know what? I, I, wish I, had, I wish I had a... I wish I had a... I wish I had a brother or a friend of mine or something that was a pilot so I could go in. I can literally see a freaking uh, 737 or 777. Is it me or Jesse's volume just dropped all of a sudden? Jesse, what? Jesse's volume. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, your volume is like, your volume was really low. I hear you fine. I don't know. I don't know what they're complaining. Well, I've got plane in my ear, so yeah. Is this okay now? You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger danger. Um, but no, I wish, I wish, um, I wish I knew somebody that worked for the airline industry so I can see like what an actual like uh, CBU actually looks like. Because that would be really interesting to see. Come to flight sim expo. There's enough of them yeah. there. Yeah, yeah they got, really. They got real parts there for sale for people for home comforts. Yeah, and I missed it, but yeah, no, I didn't. Well. I, I really want to get me this time around. There were there were fewer vendors around, so maybe they didn't have. A I want to get me the uh, Turtle Beach um, flight stick thing as soon as I have some room on my desk. Because right now I'm using a flight stick, which is fine, but yeah. Okay, I'm descending now. So, Sarah, what? where are you at? Yeah, I, I have you on my TCAS finally. I'm. You're about 20 miles ahead of me right now. 19, 60 nautical miles away from top of descent. How did you? Hmm. Whoa, you're descending what, early. Uh, yeah, well, it's an Airbus, so it goes down slow. Yeah, you should oh. be... Well, at Chaka, we have to be 6,000 plus. And right now, you are about 20, 40 miles from Chaka. So you should and be starting to descend. Mileage. You should be starting to descend here pretty quick. About 13 miles, 13, 14 miles out from the airport. All right, I'm four miles, so we got good separation. Just getting some turbulence over these hills here. Yes, I'd show 30.9 nautical miles away from Chaka. And you should be descending by now. No, yeah, it you... normally has me descend like 16 no, miles. No, you should descend. You should start your descent now. Trust me on this. Okay, you're all right. You're, you're really high. Oh, I'm at 30,000 feet. Okay, fine. Yeah, yeah start, start now. 
where she, where she's at now, I was at about twenty five or twenty. Yeah. No, it says I no, it says it um FL three hundred is, is what I have for the uh, waypoint thing and then my next is Um no, nope. you need to be going down. Trust at, me, you're at too Josh high. at seventh <sighs> Okay. Be nab off. Just uh, just take my word, I uh, no. Level I'm change mode on. Expert in all things, altitude. So there, is that better? So hold on a minute. If I've been flying these online, does that mean I've been doing my descents all wrong all this time and following the star? Um, not necessarily. I just think that right now for, um, well, she hasn't even got to the star yet. She's not even there. Um, she needs to be 6,000 plus at Chaka, which is the first waypoint in the star. And so she is right now she is about so what should i set my first altitude to then um i would go ahead and set it down to your um final approach fix and let your okay. uh all right. do it i forgot so, what that was 40 2400 20, uh, all right and let your fmc and then just manage to monitor it as it goes down to make sure your plane should be above 6,000 feet at Chaka. There is an altitude restriction that tells you to be above 6,000 feet there. But I can tell you right now, you are so close to it, there's no way you're going to make 6,000 feet by the time you get there. In fact, you're probably <coughs> going to end up pulling speed brakes out in order to get your altitude off. under control. Because you're, you're, you're fast and you're high. Really, I told you to stop smoking all that stuff, man. <laughs> God damn. Jeez. Yeah, I see Sarah and, um, and Randy on the other side of the island there. On the eastern side. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, is that better? One more time. Okay, see, like right now, I actually have to pull some speed brakes, too, because it's trying to get me down there. So, I'm, I'm, I had to pull my speed brakes up to get to slow down a little bit and get my descent under control. I'm at 22,000 feet right now, so yeah. Yeah, you're so, you, and so it's a 6,000 plus, so you're well over, because you could hit that at 6,000, and you'd be golden. Well, then why did my PMDG say 30, uh, flight level 300 for my, um, oh, what's the transition for, uh, wherever we're landing? I forgot to set that. Um, it's 6,000, I think. Oh, okay. I, yeah, 6, okay, uh, yeah, let me check that. Oh, it's the same. Okay, we got it. If that's the first waypoint on her star. It said I've Chaka three uh, uh, flight Chaka level three zero zero. That's what it said. No, no. You'd never want to be that high at that waypoint. Let me get my FMC stuff programmed. Here. Uh, Here's a problem that I've been having. Sometimes I have um, sporadically I'll have like nighttime ground textures on certain times. Uh, you'll have that? to you'll have to put a support ticket into um, uh, Rocky Martin. Oh, I think support. I do have the the, the Forbix land class. Okay, All right, on the glide slope, establish the horizon. Ten miles out. Now, I see, I mean, I don't, I hardly use it, but I mean, I see, like, in my FNC, I can, uh, if I need to, whatever, turn on uh, localizer hold or localizer lock. I've heard uh, debates on forums, oh, you need to turn that on when you ca when you capture the localizer. Like, what's your um, advice on that one? No, you should just hit your approach. Approach button. Yeah, that's what I that's do. It. Well, yeah, I hear approach, and then I hear LNAV off and VNAV off, and hopefully well, I, if Yeah. If well, the, if the, my thing is, if the, if the runway that you're landing on doesn't have a glide slope, you use the localizer button and then you control the descent. 
but if it does right. have a glide stick, you use the upper that will control the That's exactly right. And this airport has both, so mm -hmm. you want to hit the approach button. Like in the old days, I remember some some um, runways would have a um, um, uh, a glide slope approach on one end, but only a localizer on the other end. Oh, weird. Okay, what's your altitude now, Sarah? Flight level 140. Ooh, wow, well, you're still pretty high. I'm 140 Keep nautical going. miles away from the destination, so I don't know how. Okay, we'll see. Sweetie, stop smoking all that weed. We're still getting low, not high. See, I have a bunch of nighttime textures down there. No, I'm headed for jo Joshua, Joshua or something. Uh, Josh. But isn't it nighttime now? Josh, in yeah. One. Yeah, it is. Twenty-two six. Yeah, he says he's getting night textures. Uh, it's nighttime. No, well, I'm flying by day. Oh. But even when uh, when it's, uh, I'm flying real time, during the day, so then I get nighttime. A few tiles will be showing nighttime textures. What are you using? More backs? Yeah. Nice. So I need to run a message and see if anybody has something like that. But how do you fix it? So I'm flying over a stadium here. Well, then my next altitude restriction is about 1600, so, or 16,000, so yeah, I think, I think I'm going to be okay. Altitude restriction. Where are you? My next altitude is going to be like it. I'm going to. I'll have to hit uh, Josh or whatever at seven thousand or above, and then I'll have to hit the next waypoint by sixteen. What was it? Sixteen thousand something. No, it can't be that high. Mm, no. Nope. Is it in parentheses or is it as a in um? In details. You are career speed four seventy seven. You need to be slowing down as well. Uh, I'm 107 nautical miles away. I don't think you're that far. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I am. All right, we'll keep a close eye on you. But you're under. If you get to down under 10,000, you need to keep the down below 250 anyway. I know. Passing 10,000. Oh shit! Ooh, major, major um, turbulence on the way in. The cockpit is rattling. Speed break arm. Whoops. <laughs> uh, we're slowing down. Well, let me ask you a question. How... How did you know that when you're gonna fly one of these stars, like if it says like your first waypoint on your star, you're supposed to touch it? Because I've seen stars where the first point is literally at the flight level that I'm at. Um, wow, it shouldn't be. You should be above every that. every uh, flight that I've taken. Yeah, every flight that I've done, it, it shows that. Yeah. And then it'll start going down after that first waypoint. That's normally how the uh, that's normally how it happens with me too with the uh, with the PMDG. Okay, it's probably because you're flying your cruise altitude too low. No, we're going. We're at going at around 38, 38, 39,000. in my case once. Mm -hmm. hmm. Let me take a quick look here. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, just an update. I heard it. Just Morse code. It's a VOR. Yeah, that's a autopilot is engaged alarm.
Okay, I see. The next waypoint I have after Josh is a, it says bypass. I don't know if that's supposed to mean, but yeah. Um, actually, you probably should have deleted that other flight plan. Um, Oops. But you can leave it there and make sure you just go past that waypoint to your next one. Just what's your yeah, next? What's your next waypoint? Papo. Okay, I'm clear up the runway. Should be Plana. And then Melo. And then I have a vector, and that's the end of my. Uh... Oh. Oh, you selected some something wrong. Um, oh, did I select the you, wrong one? <laughs> yeah, you you need to get rid of the vectors. I know how to do that. Yeah, I mean, I'll still make it. Yeah, get rid of the vectors. And that's also my boss sight you way ahead of me there. Because sure. I'm actually I'm actually on the downwind. I have the airport off to the right of me right now, and I'm at 5,800 feet. Oh wow! So yeah, I'm. Get, uh... Delete the vector out and connect those waypoints together. Yeah, I'm 85 nautical miles away, so I'm a little too I'm a little too low, but okay. You, well, you overshot the airport to the to the west. So yeah, just get rid of your vectors. That's why you kept going straight. I was wondering why you're going straight because you had the vectors in there. But yeah, delete the vectors out, and you should be immediately start making a turn. So get rid of the, the bypass, right. and then uh, yeah, I would get okay. rid of that too, and and just get yourself headed over to. Uh, actually, at that point, at this, at this point in the game, where you are, probably your initial approach fix is Wesson, W-E-S-E-N, is probably where you want to go to as your next waypoint. And I hope. Last time I tried to do that, I crashed because I don't, wasn't paying attention to my altitude. So yeah. <laughs> I'm turning the base leg right now, and I'm at 3,700. It's really cool, planes and flights. I should have actually switched over to the Boeing so I could coach you better. <laughs> That's all right. It's because the flight, uh, the FMC and the uh, Airbus is quite a bit different. Twenty-five. How does that look? Uh, I heard it looks like different applications or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a quite a bit different uh, uh, <coughs> in format and how to use it. Because I think that's Landing more of a Windows interface, right? I, I don't know how you Landing guys up. see it, but it's definitely different than the Boeing. Well, we can't even use it. Yeah. Because we don't have access to it. Like the program that we use, we can't have access to the Airbus because I think because of something with the data sets or something. Mm. Basically, no, um, almost no LVARs. We have offsets, though. Landing yeah, gear down. Landing gear up. That's like Chinese to me, but whatever she said. I understand it. There we go. Didn't even catch there. I've got my own set of problems going on here.
Yeah, I see uh, Patty at 1541 is my final approach fix, but I am not descending that low right now. Not 85 miles away. Just, or not 70 yeah. odd miles away. No. Yeah, Should I, I actually I'm go here. up a little bit? No. To, like, how, how, what's your altitude right now? 2410. Uh, I would, let me... My mean, my, my, um, my SL is 2410. I don't, uh, my AGL, I'm just too afraid to look right now. Okay, um. It's 2404, so not too bad. I'll have 2400 feet to fall. <laughs> yeah, let me see how you're doing here. Let me, um, did, let me pause did, my sim on final did you, here. Did you assign the wrong star and approach, sweetie? I, no, she, no I didn't. I don't think she did, but what I think she did, it had vectors in it, and the vectors just kept her going straight, and I didn't know that she had vectors in it. Um, I had a bypass, because, uh, and then I had a vector, which I just I just got rid of the... Um, both of You get rid of both of those. Yes, I did. Connect you back up. Yeah, so we're next, The next waypoint that you're expecting to see is what? I'm 21 nautical miles away from Papo. Okay. Oh, I don't know. And I should be at 49.13 for that one, about 5,000 feet. Um, Sweetie, what star are you flying? Yeah, you should be flying the, the Chaka 4 star, and I'm not That's sure what, what I chose! Got. That's what I chose, unless I'm having a mismatch, but yeah. Let me see if I can see. Oh, I forgot to do my descent checklist. Hold on, let me do that and tune the ILS to the runway that I'm landing at. Ah! Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I've got time. Did you, any, did you get any mismatches on your runways? No. Okay, so on the sim, they're both alike. Okay. Yeah, she's using Morbex as well. Yeah. I don't, I'm not even sure which star she's on because I don't even see that waypoint. Her her next waypoint should be West and W E S D N. Descent checklist. Pressurization. Set recall. Checked. Auto brakes. Set. Landing data. Checked. Altimeters. Checked. Approach briefing. Yeah. I found Completed. out uh, the other day, I haven't done it yet, but I found out how to do uh, takeoffs and returns to the same airport on a Boeing. Checklist complete. Glide scope alive. Your arrival and your start to the same, your arrival and your departure to the same airport, and then it'll I, do like a pattern around I can go direct to Choral if you need me to, but I don't know really how far I am, so, I mean... Trying to find these. <laughs> I'm trying to find these waypoints. Because um, right now, we are not matching up at all. Let me see here. So we agreed it would be ILS from the 8. Final. My final is Choral and then, um, Patty, and then the runway. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's good. That, that'll work. So, be at 2,400 feet at Joral. Uh, I'm and there now, and I'm just hanging. I'm hanging there, like, now. <laughs> am I safe? At that waypoint? Yes, no, at, at that altitude. I'm hanging there. Am, am I safe? Okay, uh, how far away are, are you from Joral? I don't know, because um, I can't calculate from um, the waypoint that I am now to Joral. <laughs> I have, like... Okay, how far away from the airport are you? 56. 56. Okay, let me check your minimum safe altitudes. I, I can't believe I just learned about this today, and I'm using it. <laughs> this is not what I had in mind. What? I studied about this today. 
Let me see uh, if that's by where you're at. I have no idea where the hell I am right now. What's your heading? 057. Okay, I want you to go direct to Joral. Okay, the American 1040 direct to Joral. You will not have any altitude issues because right now you're out over the water. Okay. You're almost We're actually going due direct. north. We're going direct, Joral. Joral. Okay. Good. Because you're almost due north of exactly where I am right now, and I'm almost at that waypoint right now. All but right. I paused because I want to make sure I get you squared away before Ooh. I do my approach. I just found out something cool in some toolkit, which is. Sorry if we start with sounding a little tense right now, Jesse, but yeah. Uh. I pulled up your, I clicked on your name in Sim Toolkit, and I can literally see your route. Oh. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, on uh, uh, TJSJ08. Yep, that's where I am landing. And it says we should be arriving in about three minutes. Yeah, that's not right. Not right. <laughs> I mean, at the speed I'm going, yes, but obviously I have to slow down and all that stuff. You're at 96%. Alright, are you at 24,000? No, what, what altitude are you at? Let me see, I can check on that and see where you're at. 2409, oh, are you talking to me? Yeah. Uh, 2409. 262 knots. I'm not no, going that she's, at, she's, at, she's, at, she's about 2,400 feet above. 2,300 okay, feet. Okay, I thought it was 4,000. No! I said 2,409. Could have been 24,000. Yeah. No, nine. <laughs> I don't know. It says here you're at 20... Oh, remember. It's going, it's going according to altimeter, so, yeah. You're, it's going to be off by, a, like, I'm between... Yeah, so... Okay, you're doing good right now. Just keep going the same direction you are. You're coming off the water, and you're coming out of the city side, so altitude is not a, uh, a big problem. All right. So I had those, like, charts not... that I was studying in my head, like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, you know? Like MSL no, versus good. AGL, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, there's not much uh, difference there, so you're... Okay. Oh, this is something new. This is neat. I can't believe... I don't know how to feel the fact that I'm actually bringing into play what I studied, like, what I've been studying for the past few days. <laughs> I might not understand all of it, but, yeah. <laughs> okay, just make sure you're at 2,400 feet, and I want you, when you hit Joral, I want you at 175 knots. Actually, I'm slowing down right now, so it's funny you should say that. <laughs> I think I just read your mind there, Randy, because I'm like, oh, I'm looking okay, at this, good. oh yeah. <laughs> Beat break arm. Oh shit, I'm coming in way too fast. Okay, speed brakes, you need them. I've got it, I've got Flat it, I've got it. Don't panic. Take it slow because then you start doing things all wrong and then disaster. Flaps too. And it's always Landing okay down. to pause. Huh? And it's Flaps always five. okay to pause. If you get if you get to disoriented and you don't think you know where you stand. Flap the pen. pause button and we can sort it out. That's actually what um, what they told us, like, when you're controlling and you're a pilot, like, if you're a pilot, stop, ask for help, here's where I am. Yeah. Ooh, this isn't I think we made it. Well. I... Okay, I think I see you coming in over there. Approach hold on. My left. I think that's you. So, yeah, you need to be slowing down a good bit. I'm at, uh, 
174. Okay, good. Uh, put in a couple of clicks of flaps right now. Oh, I just did. And, and then arm your approach. Go ahead and press the approach button. That's already done. Yeah, I'm one step here. ahead of you there. Flaps 15. Yep, that's you. You're right next to me now. But you're still heading for Joral, and I'm actually on final, so you're passing on my off. left wing. And I'm I've got the loc. Okay, good. So it should capture it and turn you left. I'm not really going to declare that I'm on final right now. I'm a little stressed right now, so yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, you should. You're turning final right now. I think I'm watching oh. you on CCAS. Oh. You're right behind me. Approach should hold I off. just? Oh, I've got it. Wait, approach hold off. Oh, oh yeah, my VNAV I think did go off. Command be on. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. And so that means you've caught your glide slope. Gear down. Oh yeah, you're looking really good right now. You're right behind me. Matter of fact, you're really kind of too close behind me. Uh, so... I'm going to pause and let yeah, you go yeah. through me. All right, thanks. And that way I can make sure everything's okay. Yep, you're right behind me. You're going to go right past me. I just got a TPS warning. Send one traffic, FedEx 3306. Either holding short runway 8 for approaching traffic. Send one. Uh, American 1040 on final uh, landing runway 08. So one traffic, uh, just blue, uh, five to my check. Jet blue, five to the uh, fly virtual one, uh, radio check good. Thank you. Landing and checklist. There you go. How was that? <laughs> you went right by me. Continuous. No, I mean, how was my uh, my audio, my mic and stuff, like my radio, like I think I took oh, that calmly. No, you're good. You, you, you're doing good. Set. Speed break arm. Oh, we're over Puerto Rico. Flaps 30. That's exactly where we're at. Flaps 40. 1,000. What are you flying, um, sir? 800? Hang on, she's getting right down to the runway here. <laughs> okay. I'm down. TJFJ traffic, uh, fly virtual one is short final for runway 8. I think I already said I was on final, right? Yep. Yes, yes you did. Okay. You're good. Looking good. <laughs> Minimum. Pretty good from here. I'm not too far behind you. It looks pretty good. Right over the keys and reverse thrust. Touchdown. Nice. Driving. 100 knot. Coilless up. Nice knots. job. Right on the center line too. 60 knots. Reverse idle. Manual braking. Exit right. I can't. Well, oh, when you can. Okay, that's right. When you can. <laughs> I can't. Understood. Uh, traffic clear of runway 08, disconnecting right. now. I uh, cannot uh, tax your visual impairment. That was a hurt hit. Oh, and uh, right. see ya. I think I was over the limits. I was watching for. <clears throat> Ooh, no, it's not so bad after all, but I thought it was going to be a hard one. Yay, I did it! 
Congratulations. Woohoo! Let's see here. Eight bars. I touched down at. Minus 265! Yeah! Very nice. Uh, I touched down at 330 and then bounced and touched back down at 77. Finish at 5. And I see an Airbus <laughs> orbit from, from, from um, just touched down. Oh, that's Randy. Okay, so that's not the Randy. San Juan traffic, uh, fly virtual one. Uh, thanks for your patience as our group flight came in. Uh, we had some first timers here. Uh, you're clear, uh, clear of runway eight. And you're clear to take off. I see your, speed, your spoiler still up, Randy. Yeah, well, Mike. No, I disconnected. Like, yeah, I said I was disconnecting. I think, you, did you did you guys hear me? Uh, nope. Yeah, I was. Uh, I wasn't. Yeah, I'm you not, did I'm everything not... good. I I got you covered. And I just yeah. cleared the runway for us and thanked the All guys. Yeah, no, I. Well, yeah. yeah, I think someone was actually taking off and waiting for approaching traffic. So yeah. Yeah, that was the FedEx guy. He just he just uh, called. Uh, I just called off the runway and told him thanks. Oh, uh, nice. So he patients. watched us all come in and, and yeah. Yeah. He was sitting there patiently waiting for us to finish up. Nice. Did you thank him for us? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, good. Because yeah, I, I didn't... told him I was clear and he was clear. Because I wasn't really paying attention. I was busy, like, my heart was hammering in my chest. <laughs> yeah, no worries. We're here. We're safe. You did a good job. The only thing is, is when we go over your flight plan next time, we have to watch out for any uh, bypasses and vectors. and vectors. Yeah, those are things that you got to cue in on. Because I think what you ended up doing is, is the vectors took you way out north of the airport, back over the ocean. Mm -hmm. And and so you were way out there somewhere, and it looked like you, I don't even know what waypoints you were, you were getting, but um, once we got you, once I figured out where you were, and that you would be clear of the train, uh, that's when we did the direct to Jural, which took you, it just turned you right, and then right, headed yeah. you south, right to that waypoint. And you were at a little bit of an acute angle to catch the, the localizer, but we made it in okay. You yeah. caught it, and you got right on it. So your speed and your flap settings were good. And I mean, so, I was going yeah. on instinct by then. I'm like, no, I'm going on purely, uh, you know, pure instinct. You know, by then, I'm like, okay, yeah. you know. Yeah, you nailed it because you had the flaps down already when I told you to put them down. Oh yeah, so no, was I was like worried. three steps ahead of you. I'm like, uh huh. Yeah, good. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you did. You did a great job, actually. So. All right. Yeah. I think that um, I think my studies are actually helping me. You think a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you get you understanding more of what's going on around you, so um, a little bit you can picture in your mind. But uh, I yeah, still wish I had good. the ability to read charts. But yeah, I mean, I can kind of picture like, okay, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, you did good, and uh, I I've never used Sim Toolkit, but uh, Volantra kind of does the same thing. You can watch people's flight paths on there, uh, and you can see how high they are and exactly where they're tracking. So it makes it, it's actually easier than VatSpy. I mean, VatSpy is an old, old program. Oh, I know. So it, I use VatView, kinda, actually. Yeah, on iOS, kinda, I use VatView. Yeah, it kind of gives you a, you know, a little bit of a lag, where I think Volantra, its lag is like less than 30 seconds. It, it I think really some toolkits is a little less go. too. I don't know by how much, but yeah. Uh, but yeah. Oh, Anson, to answer your question, it was a 7378. Yeah, so uh, I was I was watching. I see. Um, I can view AI traffic and um, multiplayer is part of AI traffic, so I could actually. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, I just couldn't answer, yeah. as you could tell. Yeah. Oh, no worries. I think you All got right. the drift. He so. did, or I did. He did. He, he knew what we were up to. He, he yeah. saw me obviously paused out there and finally and let you go by me. I mean, I'm sure he could see that. Because, <laughs> I mean, I saw you as right by me on the right side. Good thing there wasn't a controller so. there. I'm sure there yeah, was. Yeah, they would have had, oh, they would have had fits. Uh, oh, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> they they would have had a heart attack with me paused on final and her passing me up. <laughs> literally, I could I could see her head as she passed by. Oh. <laughs> and the pilot seat. That's how close you are. You're like. Oh. <laughs> like <you're> right <laughs> oh, so I literally hit you. No, you were, you were close. You were right off my right wing tip by like just. You should have had a screenshot of that. You should have screenshotted yeah. that. Oh well. Yeah. yeah, that's all right. 
All right, I mean, you well, could have put it up in the screenshots, but yeah. Yeah, well, we do sometimes put stuff up there, but I was just too watching. I was too preoccupied yeah. watching you yeah. uh, to make sure that you were going to be good. And uh, I was even worried that I wasn't even paying that much attention to my airplane. Because oh. <laughs> actually, I, I banged it down pretty hard. I, I don't know. I, I think I hit. Uh, oh, God. At any rate. Uh, like it, right it, as I landed? You, you, it yeah. plopped at 380. I plopped onto the runway at 380. Oh, God. Landed, so. You came in a little and, too fast. Well, no, I, was, I landed at 110 knots. The bottom dropped out. So I was actually too slow. I oh. was probably 20 knots too slow at touchdown. And that's I why came I in at like 345, so I think I was yeah. pretty much okay. No, you did good.